This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how is model loading different between loading a ZPR file and a ZTL file? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up. And inside of ZBrush, you have two native file formats that you can load and save from. One is a ZPR, or project file, and the other is a ZTL, or tool file. So I'm just going to open Lightbox here really quick. And first I'm going to load in a tool file. So I'm going to come over here and select the tool menu here. And in here you have quite a bit of tools that we can load in. So I'm going to hover over the dog here and just double click. And that's going to load that tool file in. Now after you have the tool file loaded, you'll see it's going to appear over here underneath the tool menu. You can see now I have the dog in my scene here. So now I can draw the dog out and say go into edit mode, and now I can start sculpting on it. Now let's say I want to load another tool in. I can go back to Lightbox here, and let's select the demo head. So I'm going to select the demo head and double click him, and now you'll see that the demo head is now loaded in the tool menu as well. So the importance of this process of loading tools in is that every time you load a tool, it's going to append it to your tool file over here. So if I go back to Lightbox and I keep loading different tools here, you're going to notice that it's just going to append a new tool to the palette over here. And at any time, I can come over here and just change to the other tool that is loaded in. So if I want the dog, just select the dog. If I want the demo head, I can select the demo head. And if I want the demo soldier, I can select the demo soldier. Now a tool file is only going to save the selected tool you have selected and any subtools that correspond to it. So the demo soldier here has 11 subtools. So if I save this out, it's just going to save the demo soldier as a tool file, and it's not going to save the demo head or the dog. Now let's say I want to save all the tools here. Well, if you want to save all the tools that are currently open, you need to save a project file. And a project file or ZPR file can be saved by going to the file menu up here and then going to save as. And this is going to save any tools over here that you currently have loaded. So project file or ZPR is going to save all the tools you have loaded over here. And then a ZTL or tool file is only going to save the one you have selected. Now, another thing to note is that when you load a tool file, it does that append functionality. So as I was loading the dog, the demo soldier and the demo head, it just added them to my tool palette over here. Now, if I go back to Lightbox, and now I go to the Project tab here, in here you have a bunch of projects or ZPR files. Now, when I load one of these guys in, it's going to replace what I have over here in the tool palette with whatever is stored in the project file. So, if you're loading in tools, it's just going to append, and it's going to leave the tools you have already. If you load in a project file, it's going to replace whatever is loaded in the tool palette over here with the continents of the project file. So if I load Earthquake here, you're going to notice that these tools over here are going to now disappear. Now when you do this process, you are going to get a little dialog that's going to pop up, and this is going to ask you to save your project first. So if you don't want to lose these tools over here, make sure you save this before you load another project. So I'm just going to hit no to this, and this is now going to load Earthquake in, and you'll notice that those tools that I have over here are now gone. So you wanna make sure you save out those tools before you load in another project file. So let's go through that process one more time. So if we go to Lightbox and we load a tool, it's going to load this tool and it's going to append it to your tool palette. So here now I have the demo soldier, but I also still have Earthquake. Now, if I load a project file, it's going to replace what is in the tool palette. So if I come over here and select this rifle model here and double click that and hit no, you're going to see now I just have this rifle model loaded in and I no longer have Earthquake or the demo dog. So project file will replace what's in the tool palette and tool file will append when you load both those in. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.